Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to Cambricolian Rail Lines West Wall Part 2. Uh, what we're looking at, just where we left off yesterday, there's the uh, the board and everything all in place over top of the tracks. And uh, complete with the, uh, the cutaway mistake I made. But, like I say, there's nothing like plaster of Paris and newspaper to fix stuff. Actually what we're going to do is take the piece of board that we cut out of there, just flip it over upside down and just lay it back in and hit it with a nail gun, hold it in place and then uh, we're just going to put styrofoam over the top of it anyway so nobody's ever going to see it. So that's the next move, we're going to get a piece of styrofoam out, lay it over the top and uh, I'll be back with you in a minute. Thanks. Welcome back. Okay, here's our piece of styrofoam. All it is is sitting on top of our, our structure here. And what I'm going to do is just mark it out from underneath with a wax crane or something. And then flip it over, cut out where we had it cut out yesterday. And then uh, we'll lay it back in place and I'll be back with you. Thanks. Alright, back again. Now, uh, I'm trying this with the uh, fluorescence on for a change. I think we should be able to you know, discern what is what is what here. I've taken and I've, I've cut out the uh, styrofoam to match all the angles that we had and that was done. You just reach underneath it with a, a wax crayon or whatever and mark out where you had it cut out before and go back to it. Uh, the other thing I want to do is you can see on the end there we've got an overhang there where I made the mistake but I want to bring that out further so I have gotten a piece of scrap Oop. and just I don't know if you can see this here I just cut my own channel in it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be plastered after anyway so I'm going to take that And basically it's going in up like that and we're going to cut that off square to the end here and then basically where my thumb is we're just going to cut it back to make it nice and square put some support under it just a piece of the styrofoam and I think we're ready to go with the, uh, the plaster cloth to start filling it all in. Uh, just a, a word of advice this stuff I went out and bought because I didn't have the time to go scrounging it. But, uh, you know, if you've got some building going on in your town, all this is is, is siding insulation. So, uh, you go and have a look around building sites. Uh, don't take the stuff, but ask. I'm sure the contractors will gladly give you the scraps they have left over. And, uh, you know, you're getting it for free because it is $25 a sheet. So it can get expensive. But like I say, you go ask the contractor and, and in most cases, because it is styrofoam, they have to pay a premium to dump the stuff in landfills. So I'm, I'm sure they'd be glad to give it to you. So that's just a little tip of the day. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Take care. Alrighty, back again. We've got that finished off. All we did was take another little piece and just cut it square to everything else. It's just sitting there on top of another piece of uh, styrofoam right now. But what we'll do is run a glue gun down that glue it in place on the uh, inside and just run a little square of styrofoam on the outside, glue that in place and it'll all hold together. Now the next important thing I think we should do uh, prior to putting the plaster on is taking our track and figuring out our extension and that is I'm going back 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 you come out of the tunnel here There we are. When you come out of the tunnel, we're going to branch the track right about the bottom part of the screen right there and then start running it, twinning it along and raising at the same time down to right down to the uh, styrofoam there. And when we come into the styrofoam, it's probably to get a, a proper grade on it. We're probably going to be right close to the bottom of the styrofoam, so we'll, we'll trench that out and then just slowly bring it up and we should be, well, about even 
with the uh, top of the styrofoam once we get down to where the hole is there. We'll cross that, put a little trestle or something in there to cross over the top and then carry on down the other side and like I said before out there and just keep it raised all the way around the room and back out the wall on the other side. So uh, I think we're going to be fooling around quite a while with this track just to get the angle right but I'll give you one more video before night's end and then we'll post this. Take care. Hi all, welcome back. Uh, I was hoping to get the, uh, the track all laid and in place before I uh, posted this video but I think I'm going to be more than a, a day or so. I've got some work to do actually I was going to say tomorrow but uh, I guess it's later on today and what I'm going to be doing I, I've got probably about six feet be between this turnout that I'm placing in here right down here where we started and the end where it's going to rise up probably about three inches in that space so that's it's that's quite a rise what I'll do is I'll cut down the uh, the styrofoam right down the bottom we'll, we'll trench it in at that point but still even two and a half inches for six feet is a, a fairly good grade so what I think I'm going to do is bring the track out a little bit so what I'll do is I'll use some hardboard and try and bank it a little bit back to the top there so we're going to see how it works out anyway it's either going to be you know, one of two things it's either going to be excellent or it's going to fail and then we have to come up with plan B but uh, so like I say I'll cut it off here tonight let's get this video posted before we're all another year older and we'll talk to you real soon thanks for watching bye now